right, welcome back guys. So today we are going to do a quick tutorial to show you the easiest way to create atmospheric perspective. That's like where you make things look like they get further away by allowing them to get hazier as they get further away. So what I'm gonna do, this is just a super simplistic way to do this. Um, I'm just gonna draw a mountain scene and I'm just gonna do it by kind of crisscrossing lines like this. And then as they get further away, I'm going to kind of get a little bit more round, less detail. Okay, just like that. All right. Now, you probably already know this, but one of the one of the most basic tips that I can give you is that when you're painting, you want to start painting back to front. That means that the things that are the furthest back, the things that are the furthest back are going to get painted first. So I'm just mixing my paint right here, and I'm going to start with the sky in this background. Now a square tip brush is really, really good for um, doing your lines. Okay, so I'm just going to run the edge of my square tip brush along that line, and then pull like this. Okay, and just doing that process, I'm going to fill in this space. Okay, now the secret here is that we are using what's called a monochromatic color scheme. Basically what that means is that we have white and black and then one other color. And so as I'm mixing this, I'm just going to be adding a little bit more of this blue to my, to my white here so that we get a little bit darker shade. Now the reason that this works is that as things are further away along that horizon line, we're looking through more atmosphere in order to see what it is that we're seeing. And so this effect is, is particularly noticeable on like a hazy day where there's smoke or smog or something like that. And it's the particles in the smoke or the smog that, that is what we're seeing. Those particles prevent us from seeing, from seeing things accurately because it's just you've got all these little dots and particles that you're trying to look through as I look to see these mountains. Now in the atmosphere those those have kind of like a white hazy effect to them but this could work in different ways like like um, in in the instance of smoke or smog sometimes things appear to be more hazy more reddish um, the the color can change but the effect is the same um, so as we're doing this we just want to make sure that we change that color a little bit darker every time we go. Now if we were adding white to it, we would, call, we would say that that's called tinting. We're tinting the paint. And if we add dark to it, we're shading the paint. In this case, we're kind of working backwards where we start with an already tinted color and then we're going to work forwards by adding the color back into it. So as I'm mixing this next color, I want to make sure that I'm getting dark enough that the transition is noticeably different because I'm really relying on the transition from here to here and here to here to show that this is a different mountain, a different, a different something that we need to be paying attention to. Now, part of the reason that we paint from back to front is so that when we're doing this part that I can paint over the top of what I've already painted it makes it so that the detail comes out a little bit stronger, a little bit crisper. It just makes the overall painting go a little bit easier. There's some areas where you've got to be really precise and really exact, and there's others that you can, that you can make it happen really quickly. So you just kind of have to determine what brush control is needed for the situation. 